YouTube team, you know who it is, you know who it ain't. Welcome back for another video. Do you care why I've been absent? Yes, no, maybe? Of course you do. Let me go ahead and jump right into it. Really, wait, wait, wait. Okay, 2020. 2024 I don't know why my mind is already in 2024 I'm hyped for the year but in 2024 I'm gonna make sure I introduce myself because sometimes I'll be hopping on video and not introducing myself and as much of new people like who is this crazy bitch on my screen hi my name is Alea I am your coach your captain it is very nice to meet you welcome to the team go ahead and introduce yourself find your seat and hurry the hell up because I got a lot to talk about all the returning people was team boo I miss you girl girl <laughs> bitch holy cow i got so much to catch y'all up on listen if you don't want to hear any of this shit you can go ahead and jump to this timestamp right here this video is going to be all over the place for all the new people listen i know i'm a scatterbrain but i'm highly intelligent okay you know they say a, a lot of the craziest people in the fucking world are intelligent as hell and geniuses aka kanye before the racism no before the racism no so let's get into it where have i been so remember um that job that i got that i was like really excited about that i busted my ass for the six figure one yeah well i I got laid off again for the third time in a row in a row in a year I told myself these tech companies these tech companies I'm done with it I'm done with it if you don't know already Q4 of 2023 of this year has been by far one of the most horrific scenes for the tech industry and even more specifically talent and people operation folks which would be me y'all know I was laid off from Google last year and in the year before that you know COVID took everybody out the game real swift like and I was just like oh my god I thought like the first of all let's get into the fact that I interviewed for this role for three fucking months. Three fucking months, two technical tests, seven rounds of interviews, um, a hold on the role because of budgeting, called me back, rescinded the W-2 offer to have me be a contractor to convert me to lay me off 10 months later. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what the fuck they did. They sure the fuck did. And I really wanna drag them and I'm really just trying to have all the mercy in the world for them, but I really wanna go in and we're gonna fucking talk about that shit. But yeah, so um, out of 250 applicants, I got that shit. I busted my ass and they laid me off. So I was depressed. Baby, when I tell you I was motherfucking depressed, I didn't wanna do shit. Like, first of all, shout out to my old job. You ruined my fucking birthday, hoe, you cunt. Um, I was so heart heartbroken, I could not focus on anything else. Like, you see, here's the thing. When it comes to me and my jobs, I pride myself on being independent, right? I remember when I couldn't afford shit. Um, I remember being told that I wasn't deserving of anything and I, 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 I was out of my mind for thinking that I deserve everything and that shit stuck with me and I told myself when I give me a job I'm gonna give me everything that I want and then some and now that I've worked so hard and got into a place where I could afford to live the life that I truly dream of and take care of my child it was devastating to have to go through this again and uh, again first six-figure job and you gonna snatch that shit away from me trifling as fuck and listen i know it's gonna be some of y'all dusty asses up here talking about some oh you shouldn't get a prize for being an adult like that's what you're supposed to do and typically that comes from males and let me get on y'all asses because you know i ain't gonna miss a beat to drag you so y'all the same motherfuckers that will literally lead in a conversation when you're trying to get with the woman when it comes to like you know when it comes to getting to a woman getting a woman getting girlfriends getting bitches whatever you want to talk about call it Y'all will use that as a lead in. You know, I got my own, I got my own job, you know. I got my own, uh, you know, how. Yes, y'all brush, brushing your fucking hair. And you, you will use that. You will definitely use that. So I'm going to fucking use it. I am damn proud of everything that I've accomplished and how hard I've worked. And like I said, it was a devastating blow. I closed out my social media. I closed out my YouTube stuff because I was just like, I need to focus on getting another job and figuring out what the fuck is next because this took me by surprise. I've decided that I don't want to be in tech anymore because if you think about it, a lot of tech companies are product-based companies. And if there is no slowdown to no utilization of said products or there's an economic slowdown, the first to go are talent operations people yes i taught myself ux design but a lot of people want you to do some free ass internship and baby i don't know what fucking country you guys live in but i don't have no volunteer free ass fucking bills those are mandatory payment required bills so i <laughs> can't do goddamn internships and not to mention it's like i feel like my portfolio is a little bit solid 
but they just really not fucking with me like that and i just need to kind of like circle back on that and then also i was supposed to drop the prototype for y'all to test it out if you know you know if you don't i'll talk about it in a little bit but i'm getting back in the swing of things like i said your girl um first of all i have four interviews this week which I got, yeah i got four interviews this week um two of them are in the university uh higher university higher education sector one is in landscaping and the other is okay i know i said no more tech but this one is in tech however i did ask them this is my question i'm asking companies if i do decide like a tech company or whatever the fuck so they are more into services right they're not I mean like it's still like i guess product based because they're selling something but it's not like an actual technical product they're selling pro they're selling services right so i I asked this company when was their last round of layoffs and apparently they were affected by that Silicon Valley bank crash. Y'all know what happened where Silicon Valley fucked up all them goddamn people and their paychecks. Their money was like, where the fuck is it? That is, that's where they had to lay off people. And I'm like, okay. But, I mean, again, it's really not my top priority. Ooh, not the sun coming down, honey. Not you coming down and blocking shit. But anyways, so that was that. But anyways, that's the update your girl's back in business um you know we can shift focus now because we we got some we got some offers coming through um i had one recruiter text me she's like we really like you you're actually the only person that made it to the final round i'm just like hey, y'all just saying that <laughs> i mean i really think it is because like i just be eating shit down you feel me like i really if you listen right by the way this is a world record broken for me at least so the last time i was laid off for google it took me three months to get a new job this month it took me two months and a half i have a whole spreadsheet of like who i contacted how many jobs i reached out to what if they were remote what the gig was my cadence in terms of reaching out everything so if you are struggling with getting a job and you want some tea come holler at your girl i just might drop a video i don't know if y'all gonna holler at me let your girl know in the comments let me know i will get that popping for you but 2024 is among us this is the part that fucking matters about this roller coaster ass video 2024 is among us and i don't know about you but I'm ready for 2024 not to say that 2023 was like at, like actually fucking horrible because it wasn't because your girl fucking got my surgery all of my surgeries this year it was like a year of surgery y'all know I got my tubes removed baby you're not gonna be shooting up this club you're not gonna be trapping me try somebody else so I don't think it was a ne ne you know necessarily a bad year but I'm super ready for 2023 but before we gotta talk about some things some shit that we gotta leave in 2023 i got my notes right here okay i don't want to forget anything okay we, we we just got we just gonna jump like right into it okay first off i noticed the males when they want to throw around the whole that's why you're gonna die alone and uh you know you're you're two at best essentially equating women's value to whether they have a ring or not or if they're marriage material or not and i reply women are divorcing y'all at a 70 percent rate doesn't really it's not like you're the prize because something that is just so sought after according to you guys i wouldn't be trying to leave it right and you guys this common rebuttal that i've noticed is that well domestic violence and lesbian relationships is super high just check that out which they are right but let's leave that in 2023 because when you use that as a as a got you moment there's two things that i'm noticing here number two number one you're comparing apples to oranges right you're comparing lgbtqia communities that you are not a part of and you're comparing that to heterosexual relationships which are obviously two totally different dynamics secondly y'all males I, I wouldn't imagine your domestic violence rates being high why because y'all fucking are scared of each other yeah you when it comes to you males and domestic violence you will be a bitch up in no time like y'all be actually fantasizing about that because whenever women talk about rights the first thing y'all want to talk about is yep then i should be actually able to beat your ass and the thing is is like there's literal rule that that's called assault so i don't i don't understand if you're talking about morally like not hitting a woman back I mean sure but i'm a i'm a believer of defending yourself regardless of your sex and for y'all again to you you consistently jump to the violence piece when it comes to women when it comes to males y'all scared of each other that's why a male can walk down the street and harass women and y'all won't say a goddamn peep which is why we always say all oh, because complacency right is absolutely compliance and it's consent on your behalf 
silence and it, when it comes to that kind of behavior is complacency nobody is telling y'all to put yourself in a line of fire and try to get shot like at least go, go comfort that woman tell her do you need me to walk you to your car y'all don't be doing fucking shit and again that's because you're afraid of other men so that's why your domestic violence rates are significantly lower because you know another male will put you in your goddamn fucking place so let's not act like y'all are just harmoniously living a life because not to mention a, there's that and there's we're not mentioning the cases that are not reported so again you're using it as a haha -ha kiki and it's not the flex that you think it is number two this is what we also need to leave in 2023 where's your ring this is kind of to piggyback off of the first thing where's your ring where's your where's your ring where's your ring first of all all you males that be asking this shit you don't be having a ring you don't have a ring you can't even afford the fucking ceremony you can't even afford the family that goes with it so for you to be asking me where's my ring when you don't have your ring bro where's your ring Where, where's your ring let me know the class would like to know show us a ring so i i know i do have a ring on my ring finger and i am married yeah i know married to the game <laughs> stupid like never i will never get married i will never fucking get married i will never fucking get married but back to the topic Again, women are divorcing y'all at a 70% rate. The studies prove that marriage statistically does not benefit women. Women experience a shorter lifespan in marriage. You throwing around slavery, baby. I don't want that. Yes, there's like a handful of marriages. Are, bitch, I don't, I don't care about that. When it comes to the stats, I believe the stats, okay? Men lie, women lie, numbers do not. So the next time one of you nappy, you know what? <laughs> the next time one of you dusty ass XYs ask me, where is your ring? I'm gonna ask you, bro, where's yours? And if you say, well, my wife is lovely. Here's the thing. Cause some of y'all swear you got wives and shit. They're probably locked into a motherfucking bathroom or in the basement with no rice and no water or whatever the hell. Because if you say you're married and you're so bothered by single women, shouldn't you be focused on your wife? I'm not understanding that. Why as married men do single women bother you? Don't answer that. The reason why they bother you because it destroys your narrative that single women are miserable so women need to shack up and we in reality we're not and you hope to motherfucking whoever the hell it is that you pray to that your wife don't get an inkling of the single life and that she leave your stupid ass that's why you hate bitches like me that's why y'all be married talking about some where's your ring and you're not marriage material when you're supposed to be married and focusing on your goddamn house baby go go install a toilet go build another house i don't know why you're over here and number three on the list and i think that male female alike i think we can all agree on this one male podcast oh. <gasps> male podcast you got to go like you got to go you're done you're you're out of here pal leave I'm so tired of y'all. You don't have like a, a single original fucking thought on the face of the planet. All it is is you bitches are, are used up and has been uh, a high body count of no hymen, no diamond, uh, uh, fat bitches. Like it's the same fucking shit every goddamn day. And it's like, it's no shocker that this rhetoric that y'all are perpetuating in these podcasts are contributing, contributing to this lonely male crisis maybe if you guys just maybe you sh shut the fuck up maybe you wouldn't maybe women wouldn't find you so repulsive to be around i mean y'all honestly i kind of want to thank you for these podcasts because you're literally telling us what we needed to hear because you see when i sit here and tell women that males do not like independent women they don't like women who make much more money than you and they're gonna try and humble you it's like oh that's just you that's just your individual experience no i'm telling you this because it's true and then y'all come out and you validate everything that i fucking say thank you very much but if i had a decision i would abolish y'all from having rights to this motherfucking rented ass amazon equipment i would quite literally give you 40 lashes if i catch you on a podcast saying anything other than teaching males how to build houses or some shit i don't know but the male podcast you're done hang it up i hope you enjoyed your stay next on our list telling women they're going to 
regret not having children or who's gonna take care of you when you get older i've said this before by the way if you want to hear my spiel on motherhood you already know i got a video so go ahead and check it out so when it comes to this um this fake ass fear because that's really what it is um it's coming from people that don't even take care of their own parents you don't even take care of your parents. Your mama ain't see you in forever. Your mama ain't see you in forever. Miss Goddess ain't see you in forever. Like, I need you to knock it the fuck off because you don't even see your parents. Your mama been begging you to fucking come by. You in the same city. You live 40 plus miles away. You in the same city as your mama and you ain't even seen her? You only want to see her when it's time for her to wash them skid marks out of your drawers? I think the fuck not. Nah. Please fucking knock it off. Ladies, I'm gonna need you to not listen to males when it comes to having kids. Don't do it. Because here's the thing, if I could be a parent, I'm gonna be a fucking father. Mm -hmm. Because hey, if I don't wanna fucking take care of something that I birth, I, I mean, I contribute to birth, I could get the hell on up out of here. Peace, baby, I'm gonna start a new life. Or I could still be present and like not do anything because the wife is gonna do everything. It's always gonna be on the wife. You know, I can do the bare minimum and still get fucking accolades. Cause let me know my kid's birthday. Baby, where's my parade, right? Let me show up to a goddamn sporting event for my child. Baby, they fin they, oh, they, the hoes finna love this. Because that's exactly what we do to fathers because we know just how fucking little y'all participates. So no, again, if you're gonna listen to anybody, listen to women who don't have kids who are like in their 50s who they swear that we're supposed to be miserable or whatever, or talk to some women that actually got mother who actually are mothers who actually got children. If you're gonna talk about the kid conversation, take it from women, not from the XY. We had to move because that son was baking his camera and it was baking my ass. So moving on to the next thing on the list that we are leaving in 2023, company loyalty. I thought that was a pretty obvious one, but one of the things that I've noticed, like when I was laid off, I was on LinkedIn I was seeing so many people being laid off first of all you know the band camp um, Omnicron Ernest and Young uh, who else I mean honestly that's just to name a few of them Spotify with they trifling asses they got the nerd to talk about some Spotify wrap up baby how about you wrap up and stop laying off motherfuckers huh yeah let's do that so I was seeing a lot of people who were just like, for one, it's the fact of being laid off before the holidays. I mean, two weeks before a major holiday. I'm not talking like me where it was like in like, what was it, September or some shit? No, doing it before Christmas, you gotta be a real piece of shit to do some shit like that. And it's like, I am truly wishing the fucking worst on these CEOs and these C-suite hoes and these senior leadership hoes because y'all doing that because you want the biggest bang for your buck. You want your books looking good so that in Q1 of the following year, you can talk about how good financially you did well. Bitch, you cheated. You got you. Your numbers only look good because you were willing to sacrifice the livelihood of others. But that's that's a conversation that's gonna come because I'm gonna get in your ass on that. Don't don't you worry. So company loyalty. I was seeing so many people like I just learned so much and I just want to thank the company because baby, let me tell you right now that thanking the company was the last thing I wanted to do. <laughs> Yo, that was thanking them was the last thing that I wanted to say and because it's my the company that let me off was a non-profit I'm trying in my heart soul and spirit to be so understanding because I understand right like if you ain't got if you gotta keep the lights on you gotta keep the lights on you gotta cut where you gotta cut right but my issue is is that we have this problem not only 10 months before you offered me my original contract you did the same shit a year ago so uh, again, okay, I'm getting off topic here. Roller coaster, keep up with me, bitch. You got it. So these y'all don't owe these companies no no thank you no oh my god yes 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 because I know some people are gonna tell you don't cuss them out because you don't want to burn any bridges. How about we stop that one shot of shit too, right? Because you laying me off left a bad taste in my mouth. That's burning a bridge too. Because number one, I'm never gonna recommend you to any fucking goddamn body, especially when you have a annual record of laying people off. Because that's pure mismanagement. You mean to tell me you got a whole ass CEO, a CTO, you got a motherfucking COO, you got a CFO, you got board members, and out of all them years, you hoes still can't get it together in terms of your fucking financials. So and you can't, you you haven't devised of ways to not get to a point where you are fucking off people's fucking livelihood. Maybe y'all asses need to be fucking fi fired too. My, if it was me. 
at a company if you have to lay people off not only are you getting a pay cut you need to get laid the fuck off because clearly you can't do your goddamn job you you suck at leadership I can understand like one or two one or two times sure but if this is like a, a, a frequent occurrence of laying people off clearly you and your team members are the fucking problem and you have to go you're out of here so again you are well within your rights to be angry not to mention the fact that being laid off i don't care how many times this happened to me being laid off is one of the most traumatizing things on the face of this planet especially in this time frame where things i don't know cost mad the carton six eggs cost twenty dollars excuse me I, it's just there's there's never a good time to be laid off not during the fucking holidays not during the where not during the time where shit is mad high it's just never a good time and they simply do not care so you're okay to be upset not to mention psychologies and um psychologies and economic like job and professionals no 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 so psychologists and experts say that losing a job is damn near equivalent to loot to a loss of life you're going to go through grieving. You're going to go through the denial. You're going to go through the anger and then finally the acceptance. Because that's all for sure you went through that. Bitch, I was hot. Ooh, listen, first of all, embarrassing. <laughs> it's not funny. But, bitch, I actually thought of killing myself. I know, like, over a job? Like, girl, that's so embarrassing. Like, first of all, bitch, uh, dramatic much. Secondly, girl why would i kill myself when y'all the problem <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like get the fuck out of here i have to really like look girl like girl sis please mm. like i mean bitch i mean like like strategizing i'm like yeah um we're gonna go outside <laughs> we're gonna go outside because that shit was fucking wild and my heart breaks for people who actually do that kind of shit there's people who do take their lives because they're t losing their jobs i can imagine having that level of stress if i had a family like fuck right so if you are a fucking mad at your company if you're gonna listen i wouldn't want to go back to a fucking company i did some shit like that anyways who did some disrespectful just discarding shit like that because there's some of us i was that person who was staying on late you know staying up being on before everybody going above and beyond just to be discarded don't fucking do that if you want to be angry be angry if you're going to take that risk and blast their ass make sure you do it from a burner account so that other your new employers and uh, future prospects don't see it and uh all that good shit because fuck that bridge because they burnt it when they let your ass go moving on so next on the list is pushing religion on people specifically christians all right let's get into it listen this is coming from a sky daddy believer before you start running your goddamn mouth because i know it's coming listen i'm sky daddy's believer i'm his favorite i'm sky daddy's favorite i'm sky daddy's favorite so i am well within my reins to say this so you just need to shut the hell up and listen so there's some of you christians you outside of planned parenthood specifically you are talking to the lgbtqia people um you are talking to the people who are like buddhist or muslim and like as if your religion is the only religion like yes sky daddy said talk about the gospel but he didn't say force it on anybody he didn't tell you to go to the planned parenthood and tell people that they were going to hell he didn't ask you to do that shit he did not ask you to do that shit. If those people don't, if they don't want to, let them people, let them people go to hell, as you say. Because, I mean, the Sky Daddy that I serve, he is not like that. That Y'all have took my Sky Daddy good name and just, like, th drug it through absolute shit. He did not say, like, if those, let them go to hell. Let people go to hell. It's not your job to do that. Because I'm going to tell you right the fuck now, you bet your bottom goddamn dollar if the goddamn muslim religion did that shit or the buddhist y'all would have a fucking fit y'all would literally be crying shitting and sliding down the fucking walls if they fucking did that shit to you y'all would absolutely lose it and honestly i think it's about time these other religions step up step their coochie up and do the same thing because i'm all about returning the same energy however i do know that some people have a little bit more um decorum than i do and you know sky day he's still working on me but because but i would have been did that but like i said leave them fucking people alone like stop you're making it really embarrassing for us for for me for me because i'm the face of sky daddy and you gonna fucking be out here embarrassing me like that you embarrassing him and you embarrassing me like stop the fuck hey i know y'all are just so tired of like the employment talk but this is something that also needs to go to holiday parties and pizza parties for companies listen save that shit retire that shit because I don't want to walk into an office and you giving us pizza for record profits, but you got bonuses. Bitch, shove that pizza up your ass. 
shove that swag up your ass, shove that holiday party up your ass, and you take that money and you put it in my raises. Yeah, can you do that? I don't give a single flying fuck about a holiday Christmas party that I'm attending after hours that I'm not getting paid for. By the way, don't ask me to show up for that. I'm not doing it. If it's a team event during office hours, I will be there. But if it's after hours, I'm not gonna be there. I don't care. I literally don't care. Oh, well this shows that you're not a team. I won't be a team player today. I'm here to collect my check. I'm here to do my job and collect my check because again, y'all have been taking advantage of, of employees who dedicate their lives for your company to make your, you know what? <laughs> to make CEO richer and then they get nothing in return. Literally nothing. It's like, it's almost like it's you, you refuse to give them anything that helps them with financial stability. You are giving them pizza instead of giving them the money. Like I said, trash that shit. Trash it. Leave it in 2023. We don't need it. Okay, I feel like I've ranted off my head enough. But I do got one more. I honestly have like seven more. But baby, first day back, you know, first day out. Mm, T Grizzly, we're not going to go into a whole 45 minute video. But this last one is raining true to my spirit. Because I see it every day. And it makes the hairs on my ass stand actually i don't have hair on my ass shout out to my wife so she gets your girl bald as the day she was born but this last and final thing that we need to leave in 2023 beating up the side chick and i'm not saying that because i've almost gotten my ass beat for being a side chick story time for another day but i find it very interesting right you know the male he's caught cheating and girl focus focus on me you know, the male, you find out that the male is cheating. You want to find out who the side chick is. You ready to fight her. You ready to give her that two piece special, no biscuit, no drink, no side. Right. But then you're running off into the sunset with Mr. Man who also cheated. Right. I find it very, very problematic when women will sit here and call women, other women, home wreckers. That's wild. <laughs> because I mean, I could see that if the male you know he did what he needed to do and didn't take the bait as he fucking shouldn't and she's still trying to push the issue and you find out about it, about it. you know okay yes then in that instance she's absolutely a home wrecker however if the male was also dipping dipping in and, and sticking his dick where it doesn't fucking belong he's a home wrecker too he wrecked the home she can't wreck a home that was already wrecked right so instead of you beating her ass why aren't you beating his ass because weren't you in a relationship with him and not her because like even if she did now right because i know that's coming next right you still had a relationship with him because isn't, isn't he supposed to be denying temptations when he's in a committed relationship i thought that was part of the deal because i know you're denying temptation because i know women get hit on a fucking lot as married women and a lot of these women aren't giving in yes is it like is it, is it women or just, bro please what i just say what i just say we know we know we're talking about y'all right now i hate seeing other women drag other women for cheating ass males because let me tell you how this is gonna go he is going to fuck around with miss old girl you're gonna find out oh you're gonna beat her ass right and you're gonna yell at him and he gonna probably sit there and be like you know what make up every fucking excuse in the goddamn world and lie his fucking ass off because that's what males do they gonna fucking lie and you're gonna take him back you're gonna rob into the sunset and he's gonna be like yeah he didn't he didn't got his cake and ate his too bitch he didn't smash the hoe that he was wanting to smash for her fucking forever and he's gonna go back to smashing you and then you're gonna cook him a fucking steak afterwards and still take care of his goddamn kids and probably still go 50 50 which oh my god <sighs> thoughts and prayers i just want to let you know that slavery is illegal in 50 states but just you know, just you know. so again how how what is that doing because number one i'm gonna let you know this is also a secret side note see secret super side note cheating is abuse cheating is absolutely abuse cheating is abuse and y'all some strong bitches when y'all when y'all males be cheating and y'all stay with them you got it boss because it couldn't be me because now every time you say something i'm gonna fucking second guess it every time you say yeah i was at the gym you were at gym fucking bitches yeah i was at taco bell 
fucking bitches. Yeah, I was saving Kaden from a tree, and then you went to go fuck some bitch. I'm not putting myself through the mental gymnastics of that. I'm not doing it. You lie to me, you're done. I'm questioning everything. You cheat on me, you're fucking done. Oh my god. Then the battery gonna die. Okay, y'all, look, listen, I don't know where this fucking cut off at, but that's gonna be the end of our first video back. I miss y'all so much. I hope you are ready for the new year, bitch. You better get ready, ho, because I am so ready. I am gonna be doing my vision boards. I have a lot of shit going on just to even get ready for the new year, girl. God! But it's okay. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, I want you to focus on what you want to take place this year. I know some of y'all, you probably didn't have the best 2023 and I fucking get that, but I want you to write down at least one thing or make a list of things that happened this year that you were absolutely happy about. And if you're having a hard time doing that, I want you to pick something that you wanted to happen this year that didn't happen this year. I want you to write down what didn't work and write down what you are gonna be trying this year. Cause God damn it, we not playing. We are going to have a fantastic fucking year. Year. thank you so much for supporting me and supporting this channel with my inconsistent ass i love you so much and i'll catch you in my next video peace Baby,